But yeah, the other thing too is is if you guys are noticing, you're like Eris is getting more comfortable with Rudy, and it looks like she's is awesome. know, developing feelings for him, right? Because apparently she's trying to learn how to cook for someone. And, and so, I like how Rudy already knows. Yeah, he already knows. Right? <laughs> what a little like, asshole! I, I, I got like got this on lockdown. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the Anime Is Got podcast. This is the Mishoku Tensei weekly review. So this is episode five of the part two that's airing this fall. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stren. Hello. And next, we have Ku. Yo, yo. So brief recap of this episode. Um, We briefly made it to the holy country. I, I think his name is Millis or whatever. I don't remember the exact Millis name. Sean. Millis Sean. Okay. Millis so, Sean. So yes. we're, in, we're in the holy city. I will go straight to the big part. Just Rudy meeting up with Paul. Like we had the revelation that Paul is here. He's been trying to save people from the village, and huge fight happened between you know Rudy and Paul. I mean, this big argument, and that's like I guess that'll be the main discussion we'll have. Because I guess I guess cool you're saying that like that discussion going around, like you know people picking sides already, like between Team Rudy yes, and Paul. Yes. So. Yes. So tell me, like, tell me when, what's that about? So when when I first was diving in. Uh, to the the manga. Uh, so I didn't read the web novel. It I, I I saw the manga first, and then now I'm finally seeing this scene. And uh, this scene actually showed a lot more than what they showcased in the manga. So I was a little confused. So I did some research on it, and it turns out that uh, from what I've seen, the community is kind of split up between either being on Rudy's side about like you know you're you're putting too much pressure on Rudy, right? He he was just teleported. He's just a kid. He's just trying to make it back one piece. Like, how is he to know that all of this was going on? And then you got Paul's point of view where it's like, yo, man, you're my son. I know you're a fucking genius. Like, you have the talents to be a top-ranked adventurer. Like, how come you didn't write to us? How come you didn't try to, like, uh, go to the adventure boards and look at the, the messages that I posted to go look for your, your missing family? You know, and um, I was I was real surprised because from my point of view, I'm on, I'm on Team Rudy, right? Uh... I was I was really surprised because I can't believe that, you know, even though Paul is distraught and everything, why he would put so much pressure on Rudy and why he blames him for not being able to do more. And uh, there was a lot of key points brought up that, yeah, like, you know, Paul has a point, right? Like Rudy should have known better. He's a he's a talented mage. He's a very smart kid. Um, he should have been able to realize, that, hey, you know, like during this big calamity, uh, it could have possibly been me that was t- teleported. There could have been other casualties as well. So, you know, like Rudy's kind of in the fault here for being so selfish and only thinking of himself. Uh, but again, like I said, uh, from my point of view, I feel like he's putting too much pressure on Rudy. You know, like he's still just a child in a sense. He doesn't really know much about the world. You can't expect him to have done everything perfectly. So uh, that's kind of what the uh, the community is kind of finding about right now. All right, I'm just gonna no. uh, I'm just gonna jump in and say right. like I basically agree exactly with Ku. Like he basically hit all my points. I just want to say I know I I criticize Rudy a lot because you know I keep calling him this new age man in a child's body. But then like, mm-hmm. but but to Paul's perspective, like he doesn't know that. I mean I know like their parents have always expected something about him since he was little, but like to like he still doesn't know anything about that or because mm. like they. They don't know about like. like yeah, he hasn't run into anybody. Yeah, yeah. No, he hasn't run into anybody that's basically like uh, you know, where people were just missing. Um, because a little like I mean, as much as he could, uh, that he would, he that he could possibly know. It was just, it was just him, Aries, and uh, oh, I'm blanking on the cat girl's name. Uh, Glenn? The, yeah, Glenn. Uh, hmm. it could have just been like those three. And then at the same time, like I mean, his goal was to basically get back home. So mm-hmm. that's which which is what he's been doing. Uh, so it's I, I it's I don't know. It's really hard to take Paul's Paul's side in this. Um, I mean, did we get any kind of message a, at all, or were we shown any messages at the at the Adventurers Guild? No, this, or is this uh, our first time hearing about it? So, so so the problem is is because Rudy didn't really check. He there was no way he could have known. But okay. Okay. being a... from from Paul's point of view is. Rudy should have known better. And when he made it to that port uh, where the Adventurers Guild was that he was mentioning, like, if he actually did his part, he should have seen the messages from Paul saying, hey, 
this whole town is missing. Please be on the lookout. Rudy, if if you're reading this, which I know you will, because cause you guys remember from uh, when Roxy was reading it, like you heard Paul narrate what he was saying. And he was like, yeah, Rudy, I, I believe in you. I know that you'll be fine. Or, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, please help look for your family. Right. So that was the, that's the last episode of the first part, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. OK. Yeah. I, like, when, when you mentioned it, it's, it's coming back to me now. Right. Uh, right. Dude, speaking of Roxy, when uh, when um, when Rudy was basically just <laughs> beating Paul down, I shouldn't say really beating him down, just, you know, punching him. So no, he, was beat, he, dude, he was about to beat that ass. But then hey, no, okay. no one came in to save them. So, yeah, when, when she came in, when they just showed, like, you know, her feet, I thought, like, oh, shit, this is Roxy. And then it wasn't. <laughs> so okay, it just it looked like the same kind of boots, the style. And I thought, like, oh, we get Roxy. And then we just get his sister. OK, yeah. So, uh, you know. I, know. Yeah. I'll, so, I mean, I was just say too. It's like when when Rudy was saying he was on like the demon content too. It's like he's just so far mm-hmm. away from everything else. Like I don't know, I don't really. Yeah, he's been going, working his way back home. I don't know what's going mm-hmm. on with Paul. Thinking like like because again, like I mean, this is me like just not understanding the geography of this world. But like I assume mm-hmm. like he's super far away in the demon continent. I assume the demon continents have barely any communications with like the human continent. We don't know mm-hmm. like, how far the Adventurers Guild goes to, but it's like. It's like, uh, so it's, 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 it's very vague, but you kind of have to like read into what Paul was yelling at Rudy about, but there was a way to communicate with like all, all the continents are kind of connected in a way, right? Uh, if there's an adventurer's guild, there is a way to communicate with other okay. places that has an adventurer's guild. So if Rudy really was a, well, like was on top of things, he could have wrote a message back as soon as he made it to the guild saying, Hey, Hey mom, dad. Like I'm currently on the demon continent. Uh, you know, like I'm I'm safe. Hope everyone is well. And then um, they don't really explain how efficient their their mail system is, or like what their communication methods are. Like they, they obviously don't have a phone, right? So maybe pigeons. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Rudy definitely could have sent a message to his family, and then they probably would have found Paul, and they could have sent a message back to Rudy. Yes. But, uh, yeah, it's it's very vague though. Even still, Please. like I, I still like I still gotta take Rudy side on this. So, mm. yep, it has been like already a year and a half, and he still hasn't made it back. So that just kind of shows how how big the world is. I mean, I know he was delayed what like three months at the at the beast the the beast uh, town because yeah. of the, the flooding Doldia, or the yeah. rainy season. Mm-hmm. And then uh, th- and then also to defend Rudy, the, the first one of the first things he thought about when they finally got to like a human continent or a human town or world. He was, you know, he was going to write, uh, you know, he's going to write a message to Paul. I know it right. wasn't really on the top, you know, it wasn't really the top of his list, uh, which I, I guess... mean, what a coincidence, right? The the moment he thought about writing his to, like to his family, yeah. like oh, that's hey, and, like oh, <laughs> we, like well, why did you do it sooner? Like yeah. I don't know, it's it's really rough though, right? And then like I said, I I can kind of see both people's point of view. You know, Paul kind of has a point, but like again, at the end of the day. He's he's still just a, like a child or a teenager, right? Because if you're 15, but you're just an adult. And I think as of this moment, Rudy is 12, so he's kind of like a late teen in a sense. Is he he like should 12? have known better. Shouldn't he be like older? Shouldn't he be older because a year and a half pass since the yeah? I thought somebody was saying 13. Yeah, 12, 12 or 13. I know he was a year younger than Eris, and like in the beginning of the season, they did mention that Eris was 13. So maybe oh, he's gotcha. 12, 12, 12 or 13. I, I don't really remember. But you know, like he's he's not an adult yet, but he's close to that age, so he should have known better. To be fair, uh, Paul's also. I mean, who knows how long this man's been living in a an alcoholic, uh, you know, state. <laughs> yeah. So, so like I said, the reason why you can't really blame Paul, right? Because as of right now, this man just lost his family, and in the past two years of the event, he's been trying his hardest to find his family, but as of right now, he has yet to find anyone, and uh, like. I guess the thing that you can think of is like, oh well, well, like his sister was there, so well, he found that kid was, though, uh, that guy that used to be a bully. Yeah, and he found him too, and then he no, they found others, but you know, it's it's one of those things where out of out of all the people, other than Norn, like he hasn't found any of his other family members yet, so he's very distraught. And like, how do you deal with like stress like that? You know, you you might stare into alcoholism, so yeah. can't really blame the guy for being so like distressed, you know. Yeah, I, I wonder how long he's been in this town, though, or if it's uh one of those where do they would they explain it, Ku at all, in or a, no? I, I would imagine in a web novel or a light novel they would. Uh, but again, I 
I read the manga for this portion, and they didn't go that far into details. Like the way that Rudy interacted and 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 found Paul, like how they how they first met each other, is uh, how they did it in the anime. It was actually a little bit different from what I remember in the in the manga. So. You mean he didn't? Did he? He didn't put panties on his face. Uh, he did, but oh, okay. again, it was it was a little bit different. Like I don't remember the whole kidnapping scene. It was, it was kind of. Like, it, it wasn't like kidnapping happened. though. It wasn't it just basically like they saving him. But you right, know, right. literally, literally we know Rudy's, yeah. Rudy's yeah. misunderstanding. But yeah, yep, yeah. yeah. So I don't really remember that, but uh, you know, the, it it was a little bit different. But basically, the same thing happened. So, uh, okay. but they didn't really mention much about Paul's side. So okay. maybe you have to read the web novel to kind of get the full details. Yeah, I mean they can always sure. bring it up like later, like next episode or something. Yeah, that's so. true. What mm-hmm. um I, I know we kind of just jumped into in, into this part. Was there anything like noteworthy but, uh, at the beginning besides we lost we lost a party member we lost geese. Oh uh... yeah, I was, I was gonna mention that too. That's it. Kind of felt random how like how he was just he was barely there for like the village arc, and then he just, uh-huh. he's only on like the just with them for like, the the right there. Then he just leaves leaves before they reach the city. So mm-hmm. I assume that like the based on the storytelling in this show, like, he's gonna come back later. He's oh, yeah, the first later, but but like this part just it just feels so random. Like if you weren't if you don't expect him to come back later, it just it feels really random. Like yeah, just like how so, they uh, how they uh, talked about it, like he'll be back. Like it, it, yeah. it made it sound like there's gonna be some pretty heavy going. Yeah, so a, a little spoilers, but uh Ruiner. Here's your warning, right? Okay, so Geese is actually a reoccurring character, so he does this a lot. He's gonna show up for a bit and then leave. Show up for oh, a bit and leave. Like so, like, going so, yeah. So, like, you guys already know this. The show does a lot of foreshadowing. So, this is just something that that will happen every. I now mean, yeah. it was like how he said it. Like, it, it definitely seemed like. I mean, I, I mean, I thought I mean, it was pretty just obvious. Based on the show, it it's like it, you gotta yeah. expect it by now. So, yeah, you can't mm-hmm. throw an awesome character like Geese in and just you know get rid of him like that. Well, I mean, this like, just different. I mean, just saying like this story time. It's like, like. A lot of things a bit more subtle is like one of the more obvious thing, so it's not too surprising he comes back. Um, more hurt. We, we never know, man. This this show has a lot of surprises, and then, like I said, if if you've read the web novel and you see all the things, all, all the little tidbits that they're just throwing at you, like it's pretty exciting to see how they're going to execute it, right? So, um, yeah, other I'm, than other I'm more than hurt that, that, I'm more hurt that we uh we don't have the uh, we don't have our mount. Yeah. Sadly, yeah, man, that's like that's like the thing, man. Just like how I was all about the time skips, man. That's just gonna be your thing now. You just want that yep. mount, yep. <laughs> the stupid mount. <laughs> yeah. I gotta call something right. Uh, yeah, I was, uh, I honestly was surprised seeing Paul like this episode because, like, I've kept saying this whole entire t- like season, like, oh, I thought we were gonna see Paul later, but it's probably gonna be like, like his own like thing, or he's probably gonna be on his own adventure. And then I see him in this episode with Rudy, and like. Okay, so I wasn't. I guess, yeah, like, you went too far. Like, we, like I was. I wanted to I just like, shout it out last week. Like, oh, you don't even know, man. He's coming. I was like, Paul's coming next episode. I, I call it half right because I, I did. I was not expecting him to be a Rudy. I, I did not expect that at all. Mm. I thought he was just gonna be doing his own thing. I was not expecting him. To, and also, I didn't, I didn't expect him to be like this, like like episode five or whatever. That was gonna be like mm-hmm. end of the season, like kind of like a revelation, like oh, this is what Paul is doing or something. So I didn't, I didn't expect him to be like yeah. right up here, yeah. like really important to the plot. So that kind of caught me. Off like guard. I said, you, you guys had no idea. I was like, ooh, when next week is gonna be a banger. Oh man, it, it could have just been like me, or uh, where you ended up watching this episode late, and then you go to Animated News Network for your news, and then you uh, have the, the fucking image spoiled right in front of you. I mean, it's I just saw, like, well, yeah. rip. I saw the picture on Twitter, but like I scrolled past it really fast, so I didn't really, I didn't, I couldn't tell it was Paul. I just past it so. you know i had anime news where i basically saw the title mushoku and i stopped to basically mm-hmm. think like oh what news is this and then it was too long and i ruined it for myself yeah next time just watch the show the episode first before if i wasn't anything. driving all day man <laughs> yeah. i would have watched it but i didn't uh but yeah the other thing too is is if you guys are noticing you're like eris is getting more comfortable with rudy and it looks like she's you know, awesome. developing feelings for him right because apparently she's trying to learn how to cook for someone and, and so, i like how rudy already knows yeah he already knows right? <laughs> what a like, asshole. Like, like, i got like got this on lockdown but, oh I was god kinda, what I was kind of little fuck? 
I was kind of worried about her at first when she said she wants to go with Goblin Slay. I was like, uh, there's another show <laughs> where knows. things go wrong <laughs> with Goblin yeah, Slay. is a beast. Yeah. Hmm? There's but another show where, where, where solo female adventurers and goblin sl- yeah. goblins that's, do not mix that's well weak together. Ass goblins, though. <laughs> and, and, yeah. and, like, basically, every single show you watch, goblins is like the starter town, uh, uh, what, villain or the, the trash know, enemy? Yeah, yeah, basically, trash, trash mobs. Yeah. yeah. The equivalent of like, of, uh, like one step above, uh, the slime. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> so I, I wasn't really, and then I wasn't really worried. Plus, what, Rougeard was going to be there, too. So, you know. Mm-hmm. Whatever was, was going to happen, it would be perfectly fine. Was he actually there? I thought, like, Eris was actually going to be solo. It's... Uh, I mean, I, I know Ruggiero was watching. Remember, but I don't think, yeah, I think Ruggiero was like, she's fine. I don't know if he yeah. actually would watch her anyways. Yeah. Because she's, she's, she's pretty strong. So, yeah. Yeah, agreed. Actually, but, uh, I do also like... I'll, oh, sorry, go ahead, David. I was like, Ruggiero, too. He actually, like... Oh, there is, you know, like, uh, it's like, it's like his thing is like, like, protect kids and also like stay out of family troubles. I was like, okay, yeah, uh-huh. sure. It's, I guess that's your values right there, dude. But when we were speaking of Eris, I actually did like how Eris is basically like stepped up for uh, Rudy as well. Basically, just he just he, she just basically said everything that Rudy's done and just like how much he's actually been uh doing to you know, the, with the, the main goal in mind getting back to home. Mm-hmm. So it's more of like he was going to get there, he was going to find out, yeah. But saying it's and it has been you know really tough. He's basically watched a, but it was a bunch of death. He's gotten people killed. Uh, a lot of stuff that would be pretty uh pretty exhausting for uh, mentally for anybody. Yeah, yeah. So again, that's one of the points for for Rudy's argument, right? It's mm-hmm. you know no matter how talented he is, he is still just you know a, a child. And if you really think about it, he's always had issues with like killing humans in a mm-hmm. sense. So to be teleported to a demon continent, like trying to protect someone else when you can barely protect yourself. Trying to figure out uh, what's going on. Trying to figure out what's going on. What just how to get back. Yeah. I, yeah. Mean, I mean, instead of like being a child, it's more like he's new to this world, so he's really unfamiliar with it. I mean, he's still like, I mean, I guess like, I mean, I still, I, I criticize him for like being like a middle-aged man, but then like, we saw uh-huh. this episode like where he had flashbacks of like, his like high school days where he was traumatized by his classmates and he sort of had the same thing here too where he was That's like true. traumatized by like everyone in the bar looking at him, like judging him and stuff. So, mm-hmm. so even though he is a middle aged man, like he's he is traumatized by that. So, like I will like give him that. So I don't like, right. like I just still say it for his own actions. I still like I still, you know, treat him as a middle aged man. But then like it's more like he's just unknown. He's just still. But that's the whole point of Isekai. It's like it gives you a reason for your character to be like, like you know confused and like I, and not know what's going on in, in the world so right i did also like the little uh the little little battle between him him and paul animation again solid and i, I just love watching like melee versus magic now <laughs> it's gonna be like one of my favorite things next to next to animated fist fights mm-hmm. that's my number one yeah i gotta be honest though if it wasn't for that demon eye like rudy would have been oh yeah i mean you would have <laughs> fucked though it's like that's real he's ever, i mean he would have lost to that guy in the beast village too yeah, I mean, he's not really won against a fight against Paul before, so he basically uses mm-hmm. cheat power <laughs> to win. Hey, no, and then even, if you have it, <laughs> and then even then, like, luckily too, Paul was a little drunk because if he was actually a little, like, a little. I mean, oh well, well Paul's yeah, drunk. Well, I mean, he's wasted. He, 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 was, he was sober enough to still like fight, right? And like, like an animal. <laughs> well, but he was still like able to fight and then acknowledge that, hey, this is Rudy. You know, like after he cut off the pants oh, and you can see his face. Yeah, that's supposed, yeah. Right. So he wasn't that drunk, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah. the style of Galen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you think about it, like I said, if if, if Paul was serious, he probably would have killed Rudy. Especially since, well, if Rudy didn't have the eye and if Paul wasn't drunk, Rudy probably would have died. You know. But, I mean, I don't know if he would have really killed a kid, though. You know. I mean, you have to think about it. He did cut off the panties, so if there was like a second delay, it would have been his face instead of just the panties. Maybe he meant to do that though, to get a to get a view. Sure. Yes. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know about that, sir. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, uh, this this is kind of a banger. Um, yeah. And of course, they still they still have to come to a resolution, right? Like Rudy, all of a sudden, is like, you know, it's fine, it's fine. We'll just talk it out tomorrow. You fool, will be okay. You fool, right? it's not gonna be fun, <laughs> right? So I don't know if you guys have any like predictions or if you guys have I mean, any thoughts about what's going to happen next episode. This episode just like just it just threw off like my prediction. Like I thought, mm-hmm. I don't know. I was thinking like I, I like I was thinking like like the whole like thing we talked about last week. Well, this is a church 
city, the Holy Church. So I was thinking like evil cult, like evil, evil church cult. But then I was like, well, we got the thing of mm. Paul to deal with. So are we going to do that right away? Or is there going to be something else in the city? So I'm more leaning mm. towards like, I think Rudy's going to deal with Paul and like, like confront him and like, and I don't know. I don't know if he's going to apologize or not. I feel like he's kind of, he's at that stubborn point right now. He doesn't want to admit anything. He just thinks that like that Paul's you know Paul's just drunk and like not thinking clearly. So I don't know if Rudy's gonna apologize. I think he's gonna be stubborn, and that's gonna lead to like this whole like back and forth between him and Paul. I think I think the story's gonna focus mainly on on him and Paul. I don't think for now at least I don't think we're gonna see anything of like a uh, evil cult or like the, the corrupt church. I think yeah, I don't think so at all. Oh, that that threw it's... off my prediction. <laughs> Yeah, it's more of the stuff with the Paul. Or if it wasn't for that, it'd be, it'd be something about how I would still feel like, all right, they're going to take out some uh, evil religious people. And now Although, that's, it was just a bait. There's going to be nothing with that. I'm, and it's, I'm, I think it's just, bas- it's, I think it's just going to be with uh, basically Rudy, Paul, and just resolving that. But I think, it, I think it'll either be resolved or they're going to, they're just going to butt heads and they're going to split up and go like, they're, they're just separate ways. Oh, I was thinking the only like, thing I, is, oh, go ahead. I was thinking there are, like I'm, I'm, th- I'm thinking Rudy and Paul are gonna resolve it, but I think Rudy is still gonna try to bring Eris back, and I think yeah. like Paul will acknowledge it, and then Paul will say, "I'm just gonna keep looking for the family." So like, so so for me, I, I like I think they are gonna make up and resolve it. I just think that like they still got split, and like like so Rudy will go basically back towards where Paul was, and then Paul's gonna like keep going. They'll probably like all the places where Rudy wasn't hasn't been because he probably assumes that Rudy would have seen something. So, so that's see. that's my prediction. The the only way I would think that he would go back to Ares's uh, hometown is if uh, Ares doesn't actually somehow end up overhearing something. Mm-hmm. I feel like if uh if if she finds out the details, I almost feel like she would then uh you know chime in and say like let's just go you know somewhere else um try to find your try to find your family. Uh, mm-hmm. The only part I, I reason the reason why I think of that is because Ares is really enjoying adventuring. She seems like she's loving it, so mm-hmm. I, I don't feel like she'd actually have a. I don't think she would object to that, or she would be. I think she would, if it comes to those two things, just because she is caring more for Rudy and the and just like the the like their um their their group themselves mm-hmm. with uh with him and Rajade. I, I feel like they're uh that there's a good chance that they would just go a different way. And just kind of like veer off of uh, going back to Aries's place, or eventually getting there, but just taking a roundabout way. Uh, That's what I think. Uh, that would be my prediction. So, uh, no, that's fair. It's fair. Yeah. Uh, you guys knew. <laughs> we'll we'll see, because this, this episode just yeah just threw me off. So. Yep. Dude, I did act, uh, this episode too. I did actually find some of the etchy moments pretty hilarious. <laughs> Dude, like when, like I didn't see the manga, right? So when when Rudy started licking the panties when he found out who it was, I was like, dude, I was I was dying, oh. laughing, bro. I just couldn't. I was like, this fucking, oh my god. Just, yeah, that, that part, that part, that part was whatever. But it's more of like the entire time he's basically just focus dodging. Uh, but by I say focus dodging, he was focusing right. on a specific thing. And right. I just thought, I thought that this part, whole part was just kind of, it was just ridiculous. But I loved it. <laughs> that was hilarious. Uh, it's nice to be a degenerate sometimes, you know. Just enjoying uh, yes. the little Indeed. things in life. Indeed, yes. yeah. When, like, right. especially when it's done well. That was perfect. Right. Oh, <laughs> like those things, man. I'm over it with Rudy. Like do whatever with, with that. But like, yeah, as long as it wasn't creepy on on Eris' time, like whatever. You we do know what you want, sir. We get it. We get you it. Do what you we do get want, it. Sir. <laughs> right. So. But I do. Uh, so I um I had a, a message with uh, Lucas on our previous video on YouTube. And I kind of uh, we were talking about what would be what would what it would take for me to actually go to the the original source and just read the entire thing. Uh-huh. And I have a, like, a prediction of where I think the like this uh, this season would end, which sure. which which would actually make me want to go this this to say you know f this and just go read it immediately. Uh-huh. I feel like they I feel like they, it was going to end at when they 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 finally get to Ares's hometown. Mm-hmm. And then they're gonna go into like the 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 castle or whichever where her her grandfather was, mm-hmm. and they're basically gonna find out all those details. And then she's gonna find out, and it's gonna be one of those you know like scream endings. And then it's just gonna end. <laughs> and just then, just a cut. Yeah, by by scream I mean you know how like she, you know, like the frustration she, she, scream she or she acts, all, scream. Uh, she, she acts yeah. all surprised. She'd be like she'd be like no, and then yeah, like, yeah basically one of those things. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. they go JoJo on the bit. 
And then, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then, so that's what I think. Uh, if it ends like at that point, like in that way, I would probably be like, okay, close out, and then just go open up where wherever I can read. I mean, through. basically, kind of, like, uh, that reminds me of like 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 a Total Revengers like ending right there, like where like, it just cliffs like <laughs> the things that like Avengers. you know like a huge like cliffhanger uh, for the season. So, I mean, if it was a good show, sure. Oh, take that back, sir. <laughs> anyway, you shut your mouth. I will. I will die on that hill. I, don't know, I just. I mean, honestly, that's all I really have. Uh, I. I mean, yeah. I really cannot wait for like the next episode, though. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's I like, mean, oh yeah, just nice. Everything's gonna be just fine. Nah. Nah, fam. <laughs> nope. Absolutely <laughs> not. So this show is still like like my anime of the the season. So I'm always looking mm-hmm. forward to next Dude, episode. Until then. Until the next part of Demon Slayer, right? That we have a challenger. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, like I, I, I kind of wish I didn't read the 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 source See? because, See? Right, because <laughs> like, I, like I, I would definitely enjoy it a lot more if I was one of you guys, right? Where like it was all fresh. I had no idea what was coming. Like I would have been so like in love with this episode because like things are about to pop off. But now that I know what's gonna come, the only thing that I enjoy from this series now is like the the tidbits, right? The the, the foreshadowing that they throw at you, I mean... and then of course the lovely animation and like the voice acting, like it it makes it more like immersive. But I mean, uh, I I, yeah. I I mean, if I was reading it, like I'd be like I'd be like like I'd be feeling the same way about like being that part like reading it. I mean, that's why. Like, no, that's, that's that's what I mean. Like, I I loved every bit that I was reading, but now that I've read everything and I know what's going to happen, like I can't enjoy the show as much because you already kind of know what's going to happen. Guess, it's like but, you're rewatching your favorite film again. But for me, it's you like know. I I always prefer story over like animation. So, like, I don't mean mm-hmm. eh. if I was maybe. in your shoes, I wouldn't Sometimes. mind as much. So hmm. maybe we should yeah. just switch. <laughs> like, maybe. I should I should just maybe. keep reading. Keep, I, I like my manga. picture books. I like my pretty pictures. I just, I just go back to reading manga, like, light novels. I'm only here based because of Stren. Like he's the one he's complaining that like we're ruining. We keep, like we're ahead of. No, them. no, so, hey, that's okay. So, Who already uh, ruined it? As, <laughs> as, as as a person who enjoys like the the finer things in life, right? As a degenerate, I do value the good animation of certain mm, portions. Yes, like when I was, oh my God. like can you imagine? The upper, the upper can you portion. imagine like later on when like Rudy, uh, like Rudy does other things, right? And then, like, he's having his, his, like, those fan service moments. And then you're just reading text, right? So now you have to visualize what he's seeing. Well, when, that's, that's for when you, it's like, sir. man, I, wish, I, I just wish it was animated, man. I just that's, wish it was animated. That's for you. I need to see right. this full glory. No, I said, like, from a degenerate's point of view, yes, I, w- I would have loved it. So, yeah. Man, after that, that whole conversation, because I feel like I just gave my, my, uh, my bit of, uh, what, like, what I would do to go read the original source. Now you're making me. Uh, second thought th- or have second thoughts already. I mean, like I said, like from from my point of view, I still love the show, but I've already seen the show in a sense. So they, it's kind of like you're just rewatching your favorite film. Did they confirm a third season already? Like way back uh, or no? Uh, no okay. Yeah. You, are we so. just expecting? I mean, I have yeah. high hopes. That, like it seems like what we know, and like they basically made a studio for Mushoku Tensei, and like you know, and then. Mm-hmm. This partnership with Funimation stuff, it seems like they knew that, like, they want to continue. And because, like, you know, the original source is, is older, it's older, like, Thank it came you, out, it, yeah. came, it came out around the same time as Sword Art, so, like, so, like, they, they basically know, like, like, they're only, like, you don't really adapt old things like that for Japan, you do that for, like, the overseas license, so, I right. have a strong feeling, like, they know how the potential of the series, and they, they know how, how potential, like, an anime can reach, so I have high hopes that they're gonna keep animating it. The only problem is that like I think it's just gonna run into more delays like they did with this season. So it might take a while. Oh no now that I think about it, I remember in the manga, it was actually this arc where they actually announced that it was gonna get an anime adaption. Oh, nice. So uh Wait, damn, how okay, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> so this this was pretty far in. So I'm assuming if everything goes well, that they'll probably come like confirm it third season but um uh, i'm pretty uh, sure it's in the works but it's not confirmed yet i think oh, i think we'll it, what I think at the it end will of this yeah i think it will yeah. but i think it's just gotta get delayed again so it might not Probably. be for a while yeah that's all i got got nothing yeah. else 
yeah. So Ooh, so, next so week. let's go. So like Coops keeps yep. saying, got yeah, banger episode this this week. So start of a new arc. Super exciting. We're uh, keep looking forward to it. And that right end right here. Uh, thanks for joining us, Ron. And again, I, I keep forgetting we have a Discord. I should keep saying that at the beginning. We have a Discord. If you want to join the discussion with us before and not wait for this episode, you can join the Discord. Should look 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 up uh Shuka Tensei text channel. We're all there talking about our thoughts. Uh, we have other shows. A bunch too. of other shows. Yeah, yep. so we're also keeping up with all their shows airing this season. So you want to talk about with us there? Go for it. So it's in the description. I should keep mentioning this. I'll probably for- keep forgetting every week. So I'll try yeah. to remind you. We'll see how it goes. But that's also everybody on YouTube. Thanks for the comments as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Enjoy. It's uh, it's fun talking back and forth with you guys. Yeah. So so I'll always appreciate it. And I always appreciate the comments because you know, like, like it always um makes reminds that there's there's other people watching this, so we do our best for for you guys. So uh, appreciate, it. and yeah, that's gonna be it for this week. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.